Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you Friday, 12 July. Been a pretty dull week um, overall. Very summery type week, but a couple things are going on, so let's take a look at this. Euro is still mid-range. We traded down to 50 after the CPI came out pretty hot. But now we've bounced back to 70. Not really doing too much. Uh, we squared up uh, our euros right here at 70. We're not gonna we're not gonna chase this anymore because bonds um, are moving higher and rates are going higher in the U.S. So that part of the story is off the table, and technically it's just sort of rather weak here. So we're not doing much uh, in euro. Let's take a look at these bonds. Um, here's this U.S. 10-year yield. For really just no apparent reason, um, bonds went through to 11. We traded up to 215. Uh, we are long yield, so we are short bonds. Here's the here's the futures here. Uh, I think she's down here. ZN is the contract for the 10-year. Pretty bearish. Um, would have been better if we'd closed at the lows but we're just trading this now on the short side uh, today we're gonna sell some at between uh, 127 the figure and 12704 um, we've been looking at this trade for a long time now we're in it uh, and we'll just have to see what happens but as you can see yields are higher now and so this should affect some of the currencies this is the 30-year yield, which really shot up. Uh, now it's at 264, went went all the way up to 266, and then here's the 10-year, um, which was higher but didn't quite close on the highs, but traded up to 216, 217. The next thing we need to clear is 218. Um, our idea is this goes to 235. What else is out there? We talked about short euro sterling. Um, we like this now. We're we're in it. We're in this. We're we're just core short social amount. Um, but this looks like it, it it has turned. Traded down to 68. We're back at 84. Um, we just like selling this, so you can sell some some euro sterling. You know, right here, between 85 and 95, your stop is just above these highs here at 10. So it's no real drama. It just looks like this is going to quietly turn when no one's paying attention. I don't know what's going to drive it. Whether it's cable shorts getting squeezed or euro uh, going lower because of higher U.S. rates. Uh, hard to tell. But fixed income looks like it's turned. And Euro Sterling looks like it's turned. So these are two ideas that we're going to follow up on today. Um, what else is out there? Let's take a look at this dollar yen, middle of nowhere. Shifted all the way down to 107.90 yesterday. Today we're literally dead smack the middle of the range. Aussies boosted here with a uh, bit of risk on. This doesn't make a whole lot of sense to us again with the U.S. yields higher. Um, one thing we do know for sure is those there's going to be stops above 7050. That's a very key technical level. Um, but I get the feeling Aussie's going to be a fade today. No, no dog in this fight right now. Um, but doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me except for the fact that equities are at uh, 3010. Anyway, as you can see, exact dead smack middle of the range. 70.50 is the high. Let's call 68.50 the low. And here we are at 70 cents. Uh, nothing to see here. Kiwi similar. CAD uh, is interesting approaching this trend line here. I guess it's still pretty far. Uh, 129.40, which defines the downside. Will this thing break out on the downside today? I don't know. Um, we're not chasing it, but it is it is having a peak down there. 
crude's not doing much, um, and euro is not doing much. Why dollar cattle continue? Um, not sure. We are not chasing that either. Uh, dollar max, as we said yesterday, we like short dollar max. We actually gave up on the trade, to be fair. Uh, we left it at 9.12. At the end of the day, we were just kind of tired, uh, and we had some things to do, so we did not trade this. Now I'm looking at it slightly regrettably, um, but dollar max has eased through the 1910 area. Um, we really never got above 17 yesterday. It was just a lazy cut on my side, but dollar max does look like it wants to head lower still. A little bit of FOMO here that we kind of missed out on this trade. Now we're not going to. We're not going to chase it, but um, this dollar max could easily move down to this um, 1886 in the coming days. Gold, uh, we cut after CPI. Looks like the market might get caught long here. U.S. rates higher. This is a big change. Uh, I don't know exactly what's driving U.S. rates, but they are higher. And... Be careful if you're still long gold. There's going to be stops now below. Um, what looked like a beautiful trade really just got a wrench thrown into the engine with the CPI. And I'm glad we were paying attention because gold got smacked. And it looks like if bonds continue to go lower, gold will also go lower. So be careful with gold out there. What else is out there? Dollar Rand turned a little bit. This will be interesting as a turn bar. Looks pretty good with the long wick here. Again, this is about the U.S. rate story. We need to really get above uh, 14 double O. Just watching this really um, and waiting to see how things turn out. We don't have a lot on the calendar today. We've got PPI today. Uh, which is more inflation indicator at 2.30 Swiss time. And we have MPC members speaking, and that's really about it. Industrial production in, uh, in Europe at 11. I have a feeling it's going to be an, an utterly quiet summer day today. Uh, let's just see. Before I go, let's take a look at stocks. 30.11, uh, same, same deal today. We sell stretch highs in stocks, so any price between sort of 30.25 and 30.35, uh, we will fade. Only selling the stretch highs um, on a tactical trade. All right, that's all I got for you. Uh, good luck here Friday. Make some dope people. You deserve it. Another week uh, in the books. Enjoy it. Enjoy the weekend ahead, everyone, and I will uh, talk to you all on Monday. Ciao.